Yo, what's up guys, Malons here. We have the new Guilty Gear collab banner in Epic 7. This is a limited summon for Biken, so you want to make sure to get her right now, because once she is gone, you will never see her again, probably until next year or something, or whenever they decide to rerun this event, if they will do it again. All right, let's uh, go ahead and pull her real quick. Do we have, uh, I guess we could uh, grab some more uh, bookmarks if we need them. Starting off with eject. Let's see if we, uh, if we can get her before we hit the pity. That would be ideal. We've been uh, really lucky in our past few banners. We've been getting five stars left and right. Let's see if we can continue the streak. So far, we're not uh, seeing any luck. Bunch of Oath Keys, three stars. And not. All right, that's gonna be 10 pulls. Oh man, these Oath Keys, oh, here we go. This is gonna be a good one. Oh, the five-star artifact. All right, I'll take it. Uh, torn sleeve, if I remember correctly. There we go. Thief exclusive. 50% chance to inflict bleeding for two turns after a single attack. This is gonna be uh, especially good on Biken, I believe. Uh, for a single attack. Okay, there we go. So it's gonna be really nice to have for Biken. Oh, another one. All right, I like it. I like it. We're getting uh, getting some good stuff. Another five star? Nah, four star. Okay, we'll take it. What four star do I need? Sasha Itan is not that one. Oh, the luck is with us. Another four star. Rosa Organa. Azalea. Man, I wish they would have ML summons on this banner. That would be pretty cool. Oh, another one. Here we go. Come on, give me something good. Four star hero, alright. That's gonna be 20 pulls. 21. Bunch of three stars. Oh, another one. Come on, let's go. Give me Biken. Four star artifact. Kaladra. 25 in. Parrot. All right, 30 pulls. Got a five-star artifact, which is pretty good. Oh, here we go. Let's do this. Come on, Biken, come to Papa. Nope, it's gonna be a four-star. Okay, Adam with shield. Nemu, Nemu. Egg of delusion. We're almost forty in. Oh, another one. Come on, baby. Nope. Andres crossbow. This is even good. 50% chance to remove two souls after a single attack. Um, I guess it could be useful. Pretty niche, though. Okay, 40 down. 80 more to go. Oh, new artifact. Wait a second. Steadfast Gatekeeper, Knight Exclusive. What are all these new artifacts? When they did, when did they get introduced? I, I missed them. Increased combat readiness of the cast by 4% when attacked by a skill that targets all allies. Hmm, okay, another niche one. They're all so niche. Royal Guard. 
Oh. Who's he gonna be? Oh. Wait, so they don't have English voiceover for her? I never knew this. This is new. I don't try to achieve a greater good. It's a dog eat dog world. I kill anyone no matter if they're good or evil. Ooh. Okay, so that was uh, what? 40 to 50 pools? That was a really good summon session. Let's check it out real quick. Wait, does it show the, um, I believe it shows the, um, uh, what is it, the Awakened ability. What's the Devotion? She gets more attack on 3.6%. Is it worth getting one imprint? Maybe we should try going for one imprint, I'm, I'm not sure, I'm not convinced. Wait, imp whoa, 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 hold on a second. Ah, I see. Oh, she gets crit. Um, yeah, I, I don't know how I feel about that one. I feel like maybe attack would have been better. Tatami Gaeshi, lead, attacks the enemy repeatedly. 45% chance goes up to 55, 60, 70? 25, yeah, it goes up to 70% chance each to inflict two bleeding effects for two turns a critical hit will reduce the caster's skill cooldowns by one turn so you do want crit on her Tsurane Sanzu Watashi Watashi wa attacks the enemy with expert sermonship with a 55% chance each of inflicting three bleeding wait 55% chance 65 80% 80% chance each of inflicting three bleeding effects for two turns one bleeding effect ignores effect resistance critical hit will grant an extra turn Gario Tensei delivers a deadly blow detonating any bleeding effects wait this one is four turns this one is seven turns so you do want to um, uh, get the skill cooldown but you also get an extra turn so that's gonna help Detonates any bleeding effects inflicted on the enemy at the end of the turn. A critical hit increases the combat readiness of all allies by 15%, goes up to 25%. That is actually pretty crazy. Soul burn, increased damage dealt, and it costs only one soul. She is amazing. 25% combat readiness to everyone. You want the full crit on this girl, that's for sure and some attack maybe some effectiveness but you can put the torn sleeve on her oh i like her i like her yeah she looks really good maybe i'll go for um for a dupe i'm, I'm not convinced though i do have a bunch of uh, gems um how much for 50 10k now I'll, I'll just leave it leave it at that so the mystic summons I can't pull for this I need to wait for the next reset there is a sinful Angelica but I want to go for the five stars a Euphine was, would be nice though you fine. But I'd rather not pull for a Spectre. Moonlight, though, can do a couple of these. Here we go. Ah! Give me something new. Oh! Well, I suppose I don't have much choice. But this doesn't mean we're friends. Got it? That is actually uh, really good. Look at that. I don't need to pull for her anymore. Just got her. Cruel young girl who hates the world and the church of the goddess. Imprint. Attack. Imprint concentration. Effect resist. 
debilitating strike attacks with the staff 65% chance to decrease it goes up to 75% decrease attack for one turn eh. when the caster is immortal triggers a dual attack from the ally with the highest attack Ooh, that's good when the caster is immortal soul harvest enemies cannot be revived and all allies recover health every time an enemy dies the amount of recovery increases approach to target's max health recovery effect only be activated once per turn Oh, so she's all about having immortal dark salvation whips up a vortex of darkness and loathing granting mortality to the caster for two turns grants increased attack and speed to all allies explore the caster for two turns you can get minus one turn cooldown uh, that's gonna be four turns which is kind of long you do get immortal for two turns she does give attack and speed up to everyone but if uh, if the enemy strips your immortality, then she's kind of useless, isn't she? She's all about having that uh, immortality. Let's see. Okay, we have one more. Oh, the luck today! The luck shines upon us. Okay, Champion Zerato. Don't mind if I do. Is my Zerato maxed out? I want to already have him maxed. Alright, so that was the Moonlight. We also have some uh, element summons. Go for the ice. We've had really good luck with these ones before. It's gonna be a 3 star. Rima. And then we have a couple of Earth ones. Oh! Look at that. The rates are pretty good on these things. Ooh, Cartuja. Hold on a second. Here we go. So it's 35% uh, for a 4 star, 5% for 5 star. What about this one? 70% and 30% for 5 star. I see. Yeah, the, the rates are not too bad. Can we get a 5 star out of this? It'd be amazing. Okay, it's going to be a 4 star. I'll take it. Ooh, silky. Silky smooth. Alright guys, so that's going to be it for this video. Best of luck to get uh, your bike. There's also Destina if you want her, but ugh. it's mainly for um, for the skin, let's be honest. If you, if you want to use her with the skin, then you'll want to pull her, but otherwise you have to go for bike and she's limited and she's amazing. And she's, uh, she's got some jiggly melons, it's pretty pretty neat. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching, I shall catch you in the next video, have a good one and take care.